another episode of Big Ego Media. I've got another special guest today. It goes by the name of Taze. First and foremost, how are you today? I'm good, bro, you know. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. A little bit tired, but we're here. How's your journey? Long, man. Yeah. Long, fam. Okay, as we always Traffic. do, as we always do, we try to tell people's story out of their own mouth because we hear everything on the internet, but it's a chance for you to speak for yourself and, yeah, get everything you want out of your chest. So, mm-hmm. first and foremost, we all start. Where are you from? Where was you born? What area you? Ah, uh, cool. I was born in St. Thomas Hospital. Raised up in Lewisham when I was like, I think it was like 20, I moved up to West. Yeah. So you grew up all your life in Lewisham. How, how was you in sort of school? Was you, was you one of the good kids, bad kids? I tried to be good. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. You get me? What about your education wise? Was you one of the top set, middle, struggled a bit, needed extra help? I was good. Yeah. I was good. Like, I could have been in top set, mm. but behavior wise, they wouldn't, they, you get me? Mm. It's, I was in like the middle set. Okay. What about in regards to sort of um, household? Was it a thing that where both your parents were around, everyone supporting? At first, <clears> yeah. Up until what age? Mm. Sometime between 12 and 15. Yeah. And you but I, I always <coughs> spoke with him. Mm. Like he was always about, yeah. don't get twisted. Pops is proper still. Mm. Do you think him being separately away kind of influence your, your, your life, maybe? Into Not that. influence, but hell, this is what I will say. Obviously, my dad used to dish out the licks, innit? Mm. So, my mum's licks weren't as hard as my dad's licks. Okay. So, what was your family not, background? Not, it didn't, huh? What was your family background? What country? From? My mum's from Trinidad, Jamaica, Grenada. My dad's from Sierra Leone. Okay. So you had African and Caribbean sort of But that's what it is. Because my dad weren't <laughs> in man's household, mm. man weren't really seeing that unless man goes to his, one of his events or something, okay. like the family events, then mm. no, I weren't really seeing that. But then again, my mum's there going to Trinidad every year. Okay. So it's like... So growing up, what was the angle? What did you want to be? You know, someone, people want to be a footballer? People, what, what, what was your... I opinion? wanted to kick bull, bro. Was you good? I was mad. Yeah? I was mad. A lot of people come here and say that, you know. Nah, bro, I was mad. <laughs> mad man <laughs> laughing. Ah, ha. I was mad, bro. What Trust position, me, I was a winger. Well, okay, I'm going to say... So you know from there, you yeah. already know what's going on. So what team did you support? Uh, I beg someone bring my drink, please. Bro. No juice? Love. Yeah, what, what team did you support? Arsenal. Arsenal, okay. So it was okay. rough. So growing up in Lewisham, how was it as a young person growing up? Like being in that, in that area, what part of Lewisham is all? Deptford. Deptford, okay. And my nan lived in New Cross. Mm. Did you know all it was, the old school stories? It was alright, man. Yeah. I knew the stories and that. Right. When you say growing up, mm. what's, what times are you talking about now? Like, I'm talking about from I'm, when you're sort of 11 to 16, 17, you said you left when you were 20, right? 11 to 16. Wait, secondary school 11 years. To six, secondary school. You said secondary school years. Yeah, right? man. But Bro, it started before that. You see, in primary school, mm. I was seeing man on tag. Okay. And all of these things. And I was thinking that was the maddest thing about. Mm. Like, I was thinking, yo, bro, I want to be on tag. Okay. I'm thinking, I want to go, Joe. Mm. What would you, would you think gave you that thinking, mindset? Was, what, get, I thought they was the maddest, because all the girls like them, innit? So mm. I thought they was the maddest thing about. Yeah. I thought that's what you're supposed to do, get on tag and go, Joe. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The funny thing is, I say this a lot, and people will say, oh, you can't blame it. You can never blame women. But I said that. Girls mm. used to love the bad boys. <laughs> girls used to love the bad boys. When, if you was a the good kid, they weren't really feeling you. If it was, they weren't really that. So yeah, 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 you had to be a little bit different or a little bit, have a bit of an edge on you. But what age would you say, what age would you say that <laughs> you really... I'm saying they t- wanted scars on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what age would you say you really touched the road? Like when you say, okay, I'm involved, I'm active. Yeah, 10, mm-hmm. yeah, 9. Yeah. Like before then, like mum was, Man had that attitude and that. Mm. It was rude, but that. Uh, went on the road or nothing like that. Nah. Hey, wait, just, wait. just small things, like... Small things, man. Hey, where, where, did, where, where did the name Taze come about? Who I, gave it to you, though? Trial and error, man. Okay. Trial and error, fam. So you went first, with two different names? First, I was Shaq. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why is man laughing? Hey. I was Shaq. Mm. Then man changed, man made it small, I made it SK. Mm. And then I was Caps. Mm. And then 
no, no, no. Before caps, I was cramps. Yeah. And then I found out there was another cramps. Yeah. So then I had to change it. I was caps, cappy caps. Mm. And then Taze came. Cause what? I just thought no one has that name in it, so mm. I just want to be. You get me? Why the continuous change though? Is like actually nah. This name it, it don't feel hard enough. It don't feel apart from the one that someone else had with the others. Why did you think you had to keep changing? I just was saying fuck with it, man. Mm. Back then I just changed my name bare. Mm. It's a change. Just switch it up. And at which point would you kind of? What music would you listen to those days? Like what was, the, what, was what was your vibe in secondary school? Mm. Boy, sir. Uh, um, my mum and now you know the Sunday vibes. What's going mm. on? So it's like. Uh, Jack Cure and all them man yeah. there, and <laughs> Tyler Riley and mm. all them man there, and then outside, I was listening to stuff like. Do you remember back in the day? Yeah, there was one group. I forgot what they're called, but it's like, put your hands in the air. Uh, put your hands in the air. Like garage. I mean, not garage. Graham. Yeah. Okay. 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 Do you remember that group? Do you remember what they're called? Where they from? Where they from? Your ends? Yeah, some of them was from Deptford. I think they was just from around. I think they was from just around South still. Mm. Southside South Soldiers. It was a banger, like. Mm. Mm. Put your hands in the air. It's like Channel U days. Hey, he's like, I want to say that nigga in out, bring that red out in. Come on, bro, you play with me like you don't know. I know you're talking about that. Yeah. It's like roughly around that kind of music, really. And did you did you want to start spitting at the time as well, or just like so you started from young? I've been able to rap still. I weren't that good yeah. back then. My name used to boo me off the stage when I used to try and rap in the room. <laughs> <laughs> My name used to boo me and say, yo, boo, get off the stage. Yeah. I weren't that good. What was it, just lyrically or your flow? What was it at the time? What was it at the time? I don't know, bro. I thought I was mad. Yeah. I thought I was mad. You <laughs> <laughs> might as well fuck with yeah. me. I don't know what it was. So do you remember your f the first lyric you ever wrote? Mm -mm. Click, click, bang, and then uh, uh, like clue, clue. If I chat shit, then you're gonna get. No, that weren't my bars. I don't know whose bars that is. Whose bars <laughs> is that? Whose bars is that? But you're on a grime thing then. That that, that, that that sort of thing was yours. Yeah, grime yeah. Thing. Like at first, I was on a grime thing, mm. and then I jumped on like the yardy rhythms. Okay, okay. I made one rhythm that I was all performing in clubs. Mm. Like when I was young, that like, when I was like 15. Yeah. One tune called Iggle Wiggle. Mm. That had the yardies them going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Had the yardies them going. Wow. Is, is this video still about for that, or the song still out there somewhere? That song's about somewhere still. Yeah, hangs about still. So I mean, as you're going through this whole process, and I guess you kind of you touch your road. Are your parents saying anything to you at the time? Like, yo, what are you doing? Are you getting more? Because when you get to a certain age, licks Bro, don't work no more. No, no, no. I'm getting beats. Okay. And I'm knowing I'm gonna get beats when I come home. Mm. So it's like cool. I'm being told I can't go outside. Mm. I'm jumping out my nan's window. <laughs> my uncle's finding me on the other side of the estate, mm. beating me. I know I'm getting beats when, yeah. when he links me anyway. But at least you was with a man, them, you, you enjoyed yourself. At least I get a one two. <laughs> and man's, you get me? Mm. Flex. So, when you said, who's the kind of people who's kind of looking up to at, at that time in the area? Would you hear, like, obviously, don't, don't mention names of that, but would you sort of hear, like, the older guys and did they take kindly to you? And, and you become a younger? I, I did it work. No, nah, you know what it is? You see the. Um, my nan lived in one state called Love Lynch, innit? Mm. So obviously, my mum lived there from before me, my uncle's there, so everyone knew mm. everyone kind of thing. I knew everyone, everyone knew man. And I was just thinking, yo, I can't lie, I weren't really seeing what they was doing. Mm. Do you get me? Like, they was doing things, don't get twisted, but I weren't seeing it. Mm. I was just seeing, yeah, when everyone links up and goes football. Yeah. And I'll go with them in the sun and play kick a bit ball. But we weren't really looking up to mm. people like the ghetto youths are active, yeah. monster youths are active. You get me? We weren't really looking at, up to no one at, still. And at, 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 at that point, did you know, like, okay, these are gang members or these are part of a crew, or you just you didn't kind of clock that at the time? I knew what was going on. Yeah. I had YouTube, so you get me. I was just, mm. I was in tune. I'm young, innit? I'm looking, I'm saying, yeah. It's hard. Mm. And it, it, so it's, that's what, it's interesting to say that because like you're watching YouTube and you're like, this is hard instead of oh that looks a bit scary. So you was getting more like it's, it's pulling you in a bit more. You say, I weren't scared of it. Still, mm. it was proper things. I was thinking this is. The, remember, I told you I wanted to be on tag. Mm. I wanted to be and all these things, bro. So it's like, 
I'm pissed out. Hey, it's not a good thing to be on tag or nothing like that. I'm telling you, because when I went on tag, mm. that was it. Yeah. I started feeling like, brother, why is man on tag? Mm. And I should have known. From when I even saw the oldest coming after school, car, bro, man's walking my home at five o'clock and saying, yeah, this is his time to go in. I'm thinking, yeah, this is the mad team, bro. He's going to play FIFA and that. Like, yeah, 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 fuck it. But, bro, we were what was the question? Then? What did you? Oh, real, mate. You, you kind of answered it. Oh. Why? Why did you go on tag at the time? I went on tag a few times. Like I probably did tag. Yeah. Did tag for a while. Right? Yeah, you had ever had the job. Yeah. yeah. But I did tag. Bad. Now I think it was a few robberies. Quite a few robberies. So when you ended up at the job, how old was you? Eighteen. Eighteen. Did you see what that's for? Or? Yeah, the effects of weapon. Yeah. First time I got a job. Wow. I got set up though. You know what's mad? Yeah. Listen to this. I'm going to college. I'm trying to live my life. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Tutus. I'm outside the college. And like, I'm about to walk in, chilling with my brethren at this time. Right outside Lewisham College. Beds are run up to me. The ch- a woman's grabbed me mm. and said, you match the description of someone that's just to commit a robbery. I'm thinking, rah, like, rah, rah, rah. Like, fuck that. Yeah. I, I pulled off and I'm tired running. Like, I know, but get me. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. They're chasing me, I'm jumping over pillars and shit. I'm all going to a construction site. I've jumped in the mud and I've dug my shit. Get me and dug whatever I had on me into the ground. Yeah. And obviously, they picked me up, they jumped on my back. When they picked me up, they ain't seen it. So I'm like, yeah, cool, fuck it. Going back because obviously when I'm running, I've dropped my phone. So oh, they're thinking that's what that's what I was running. Yeah. They picked up the phone, they clocked this man, and then two twos, they've let me go. Mm. I've tried to go i tried to go retrieve it later that day. It's gone. Yeah. A year cool. This is when I'm 17 though, I'm in college. Mm. A year later, I'm having a party. Like at my house. I had a party for my 18th birthday. Yeah. Everyone here yeah, was lit, was lit. Everyone's gone home next morning. No, no, no. Yeah, feds. Yeah, we're looking for. We found what? We found your thumbprint on the knife. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, how did you get? Not long. Eight months before. A guy to prison for the first time. How was that feeling for you? You just bust a lot of people. You did. Piss, man. I knew people. I don't want to. I don't want to. But no one. I'm out of man. Mm. Was it a thing where yeah. you had to be wary of what wing you were going to? So them like? times, I didn't have beef like that. You know what I'm trying to say, like. Even now I don't have beef like that, mm. but it's like then it's like really not I didn't have that many people to that I was had mad problems with. I got into a fight and you know, mm. not even a fight like that. I know what I'm saying, but what really beef. I didn't really have beef like that, I was cool going. Mm. Mm. Was that the only time you went to jail? No, I went to jail like when I came out I went to jail six months after for two weeks mm. for a robbery I didn't even do. Yeah. Uh, and you see when I say like I didn't do it, I mean I didn't do it. Mm. I was so pissed. I'm in my house. Obviously, I had like a someone's house downstairs from in in my in, in my building, mm. and we used to chill there. But obviously, what's happened is the police have raided that house and they found like an orange flick knife. Yeah. But that shouldn't mean nothing, right? Mm. But cool. They've come and arrested me and said, yeah. The person that did the robbery outside Lewis and McDonald's had an orange flick knife. Mm. But these times I'm thinking, brother, nah. you know, I've moved on from robberies. I did robberies mm. when I was 16, like, mm. I'm way past that now. And I'm saying this in an interview, I'm saying like, you know you lot are gonna have to let me go, like, mm. it's not gonna, <laughs> like, you know when you're being mad cocky, mm. I'm saying to them, yo, you lot are arresting me for this. I'm saying, yo, just check the CCTV, you're gonna see it's not me in it, like, mm. see, I'm, they've gone to court, they've charged me, they've yeah. gone to court, they said there's no CCTV outside Lewisham McDonald's. I've gone to jail for two weeks. <laughs> I got bail after, the case got dropped. With those experiences, has it made you think, yeah, prison's long, let me go on a straight and narrow lane, get back to prison? Now, the second time I went in, I sat down and I looked like this. I just looked at myself, like I'm just thinking, brother, even though this ain't your fault, this is your fault, fam. Mm. That. And it actually wasn't my fault, that's what's fucked up. But it had me thinking that, yo, this is my fault, fam. Like, duh, 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 but I ain't been back since. Mm. So. And in regards to, at the time, music wise, cause I think, when, when, did, when did drill music really come in the UK? Was it 2014, 15? I'm not sure. 
when he was at, but I think it's 2016 when he really took off. Mm. Was you in the early wave at that time making that sort of sound, or was you on the hip hop vibe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The I remember, I, I'm before drill, you know. Mm. I'm like, I'm like when Dons were jumping on Yardy rhythms. Yeah, you get me. So, man, things kind of different. Like I've, I've been about. So when the, when the drill sound came on, came about though, was it a thing you instantly thought, yeah, this is me, or was you kind of? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, like right into drill, it's like a playground. Like it's, mm. it's fun and it's fast. You can just. Niggas say it. Uh, sorry, my language. Hey, people are just saying anything these days. It was fun, innit? So, but I guess at the time as well, well, it's, it's a bit changed now because people don't actually actually do what they're talking about. By the time you kind of had to be sort of certain to be talking about certain things and getting at people, did you feel that you're living? You know what it is. That? Now there's a lot more man that don't do nothing. Mm. But even then, there was man that wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. Like there was man I was looking at thinking. But uh, you ain't doing that. Mm. And then, obviously, we'll touch on a, on a, on a few different occasions. Mm. Obviously, it's your interview that we're, we're kind of trying to concentrate on you, but we must we must talk about Russ a little. Mm. So, I would say Russ with his rush. Apologies. So, when did you guys first meet? Because in the interview, said you know you're in the primary school, mm-hmm. and you guys have always been friends since mm-hmm. the beginning. So, also in the interview, when he's um, got the deal with. What was it called? Press play. He mentions that they're gonna give him sixty, and he said, "Nah, you know what? This is my guy. You guys should give him thirty. At that time, how did that make you feel when he when he when he done that? I thought, yeah, man, that's a good brother thing, man. Mm. Then I realised it was twenty four albums, and I was thinking, <laughs> brother, this is a death. <laughs> fam. Yeah, you ain't fucking busting me. But let me say, man, he would have known that as well, right? So you have to look at it from the from the street point of view, like. You might well, have got, got 60 bags. Whether it wasn't known or known, mm. it is what it is, it isn't is, it? Like, I guess so. But I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm talking about from the sense that, right, someone's about to put 30 bags, give me 30 bags, because he don't need to. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't know he's getting bumped, but he said, take 30. Bruh, you see what, you, what you're telling me now? I didn't know at the time, so yeah. it's not like I had a feeling. Mm. I just, he just told me, yo, press play, got da 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 da. If we, rec- if we record for two years on their thing, just release for two years on their thing. Da, 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 da. Um, boom. At the time, and just you, cut you, through and just. Were you not talking about solicitors? You, you what? Know, solicitors? Know. I rang my mum. <laughs> I rang my mum. My mum was gassed. Yeah. He rang his mum. His mum was gassed. <laughs> we was living. We was like, we was in the place taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we had crepes like the next day. Like, bro, we was living. What was your, uh, your, your, your first big expense? Hmm? The first thing you bought when, you, when the money came was the first thing you decided, yeah, I'm going to go and cop that. A little Montclair coat still. Mm. Blue ting. And did you. I mean, once you got, you got that money as well, and you're thinking, right, we're doing music, are you thinking, right, this, this is actually my career now. This, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do music full time now. You weren't even thinking about doing music full time. Nah, bro. I was like, yeah, cool. Like, that's, this is lit. Yeah. Went to America with Press Play. Mm. By the way, man, I ain't even got no issues with Press Play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we sorted all of that shit out. Mm. So it's like, there ain't nothing on us. But so you went, went to America. Shot the shit, um, shot the thing with Chef G, mm. and then come back, I release something. I stopped releasing for a bit. Just had other things to attend to. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say, uh, what, what, what? Was you not motivated by that? Because like for me, if someone said, okay, here's thirty bags for producing music, I would think, well, I must be talented. People are give me this money, so actually, let me get more thirty bags. Let me, was, you, was that not a motivation for you at the time? It should have been. Yeah. It should have been. It wasn't. So there's there too much other things going on in your life at the time that didn't make you concentrate. Do you think that if you had been consistent, things would have been a little bit different now? What, from then? Yeah. I mean, what stopped you from being consistent? Let me consistent? be real. Yeah. After the Chef G thing, I released Saturn, and it weren't really getting the feedback I was like. See, when I don't get the feedback, I start thinking, Nah, my man's not rating my thing, man. I'm just gonna fuck, fuck this, man. But mm. Do you, are you someone that reads a lot of the comments and stuff like that? I, I used to. I don't mm. even read it no more, fam. Because listen, we comment. I always find even me. Sometimes I might read a comment. Sometimes I might go back and forth. But you read. Nah, like, I read. I, like, you see, if I'm like on on like a blog page, mm. I read their comments. Yeah. See my own comments. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Like, actually, 
my Insta, mm. my Insta don't, it's calm. Yeah. But you see, when it goes to YouTube and that, I'm not reading nothing. Mm. They're rude. <laughs> they're rude as hell. <laughs> hey, they're rude as hell on YouTube. And do you think that that kind of knock your confidence a bit? Because even me at 35, someone says something that criticizes you, feel like, rah, what am I chatting shit for? But like, do you, th- does it knock your confidence a little bit? It used to, mm-hmm. but that's why I stopped reading it because mm. what am I going to do? So what, what was kind of stopping you making track after track after track and staying in people's faces? I was outside, bro. Yeah. I was in people's faces, just not in music. Mm. Like, I know what I'm saying, that like, it's dumb. Like, man's just outside, like. Yeah. In hindsight, you're thinking more, I should have gone to the studio, should have gone and done more stuff now, when you look back at it now. Yeah, for real. For real, I should have still. And who, who, who at the time was you kind of looking at music-wise in terms of other, other dual artists? Was there somebody who oh yeah, my man's hard, I fuck with him and, and so on at the time? Into that six, seven years. Yeah. And some guys from Kennet and uh, I see them rapping and that, and those are rap. Um, Wait, so guys, you mean, okay, you don't want to say the name, okay, I get that. Okay. No, I don't even know, I don't know the name's not in my head, but um, other than that, bah, was there anyone really going hard at that time? Zone 2 was going all right. Mm. Um, I wasn't looking up to, no, like none of these groups I wasn't looking up to, but mm. I did think they was hard. Yeah. Get me, like, they played a big role in making new flows and, like, Wavy still. Did you, did, you, did you ever think Drew, I guess maybe not because you said that you weren't really focused on it, but to see where Drew has kind of reached now, where there is sort of top tens and albums and so on, did you see that from the get-go? I think, right, it's going to get there one day. Oh, you're thinking, yeah, this will fizzle out. No. Did you see it at all? I was thinking this is about to get banned. Yeah. Mm. They, they were talking about that at the time as well, weren't they? So you just saw it as a bit of a hobby, more so? Literally. Yeah. Yo, my boy, no phone calls, please. Yeah, so, um, okay, move, move, moving on. So, what would you say was the, I guess, for you, the track that you was kind of, you put out there and you didn't think you got the reaction that you wanted? It? I mean, what is a reaction that you want? Does it, is it views? Is it comments? Is it likes? What, what makes it a success for you? I don't watch likes. Fuck the comments. But, see, like, Views wise, mm. like, I'll look at it and I'll be like, just take that shit down, man. Mm. Like, I look at certain songs and I'll be like, just take it down, man. But I don't tell them to take it down, but I'll be thinking in my head, just take it down, man. Yeah. Like, I don't even want this out there. And then. So, what, 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 what would you sort of consider good views? Good views. Bro. I can't lie, man. I want like two million a day, fam. Mm. People just know, yeah, man can't get that, fam. Man wants to, don't get twisted. I want to push to that. But not, not, every, not everyone gets two million a day either. Even some of the top artists right now don't get two million a day. So, I know, fam. But I guess you're aiming high, why not? But I'll, if Cause I you know what it is, I've done all the 100K in a day. Yeah. I've seen men get a million a day. I want to go, I want to get the top top. You know mm. what I'm trying to say? I want to, I've seen, who was it? Someone released a chong and, no, nah, don't worry. I think it was Adele. So don't even worry about <laughs> that. Adele <laughs> <laughs> got Devil. 30 million in like, a, in, in like a day, not even a day. Not like even a Adele, it wasn't Adele, it was someone yeah. else. I think it was like, um, what's their name? Little Mix? Okay. I think it was Little Mix. Yeah, but you remember, you have to remember that they're a pop group. You can't, we can't really compare but what's the difference? Groups. The reason why I say this, they've been established over time. How long have they been out? Little Mix has been expected a good 12 years, good 13 years, they're no. like young. Yeah, little bit of the back from when they was like 15, 16, they're like in their 30s, I mean, late 20s, early 30s now. Oh, I assume, so. before people from little bit say that I'm only 25 or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they've been about, they've been about for, mm. for a minute. So I guess you have to kind of compare it to your peers, but the danger of views is that people feel success is labeled by that. There's many people who don't get that many views, but they'll still sell out a show or they'll still get a book in and so on. So it's a bit dangerous to look at views as a sign of success. But I guess in this day and age, people say, okay, man, got this view, this got that view. So I understand your point of view on that. So 
obviously going over to you said that you moved to West London and obviously you got family members over there which is CGM so who, who's your uh, family over there Seven Lunch no, those are your cousins so I guess it's the part most people want and I, I don't want to get too much into it I just want to give you a chance to explain your version as much as you can mm-hmm. without getting to interact because we don't want it to be back and forth we're trying to just give you opportunities to have your say mm-hmm. so initially what happened you obviously you introduced them to, to, to Rush you, that's your family and talk us through that I introduced them he's just coming around he's coming around them like everyone's kind of cool and that da, 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 da. we fell out and you get me when we fell out it's just me and them do you okay. get me they ain't no my man in the picture. It's me and them, you get me? So, yeah, fam. We start talking again, he start apologise on Snap or something. I mean, what like were you guys falling out over? Over silly things, just uh, gravity bro. stuff? All right, cool. That ain't a case, I can get into that. Mm. Listen to this. So cool. Man's gone somewhere. Mm. Obviously, I'm there with, like, three people, in it. Chilling, chilling, chilling. He's come with three people. But now, he jumped out the car like, he's got a, like an angle, isn't it? Like, mm. I was like, hmm, hmm. Thinking, rah, but what's going on? You get me? Mm. Anyway, chatting, chatting, chatting. He's talking about some FIFA argument with someone else. That someone's gone to spud someone. And, and you get me, surprisingly, He's done a sneaky thing, isn't it? Like, mm. chopped the person in the head while they weren't looking. But you see where it is. That's man's brethren too, mm. and he's man's brethren. So man's Batman's thing that like, moved back. You get me? He's acting on the irate thing. Oh, 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 oh! Put that knife on me. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Do all that, that. Mm. cool. Press plays holding both of us back. Oh, yeah, whatever, innit? Took my regent, taking my regent hospital now. He's messaging me all this on Snap. No, 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 no. This is the worst thing you could have done in your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But he's saying so many. You see, my man, he's kind of rude, innit? So he's saying so many rude things. Mm. I'm thinking, nah, man. I told him I'm coming back, innit? So I came back. And then, obviously. He weren't there no more. Mm. But his brother was, and I had a word with him. Long story short, I left after the word. And, uh, how do I say this? Cool, we were talking for about three months, four months. And then cool, he's apolog- like he's doing mad stuff on Snap, like. Mm. Like before even the apology, he's doing mad stuff, like. Mad little sneak, this is here and there, here and there, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. I'm thinking, cool. Cool. Then, he's hit man up for, not even hit man up, he's put on his story like, oh, I miss Taze. People are sending it to me, his cousins are sending it to me like, oh, da 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 So I'm thinking, fuck it, man. I'll fuck with my man on business terms, innit? Mm. Like, Kaya. From what he's done, bro, we can't be the same. But man can fuck with you. Mm. Not like that though, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, cool, my man had bare shows at the time. So we was all, I was going to his shows with him, you know what I mean? Mm. Bringing my brethren to the shows. And da 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 It's business terms still. My looked more exciting on the internet, cause he had bare shows, innit? So yeah. it looked like we was linking up bare, but it was only for business terms. Like we weren't going out for cocktails, mm. going for drinks or going winter one, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like, yeah. having fun, and a uh, man them thing, it was just business, but, mm. And then, from the back of that, you guys are kind of back together, chill, well, not as good friends anymore, but on the, on the business level. Because remember, man lives in West as well, isn't it, mm. these times, so it's like, he's living down in Kent, yeah. so it's like, well, we can't really just, every day, I'm mm. in West more time, so it's like, yeah. So then, in terms of the, like I said, we don't have to go into names or anything like that, because, like you said, it's, it, we're just gonna keep it kind of cordial. Mm. 
So how did it happen, the fact that he kind of blames you for what happened to him on that night? What, when you got? When, yeah, when, yeah. Um, his brother was what? Oh, okay, cool. I got you. Cool. This was happened. I stepped out, I linked him. Spud, Spud, jumped in the car. Jumped out the car. I left my drink. Mm. Me was he coming to pick you up or? Yeah. Okay. But obviously he's messaged the group and said, duh, 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 he's coming down that. Like, this is But why, why, after, why would it have been, why would, why would it not be okay for him to come? Why would it not be okay? For him to come to the area at the time. To be honest, I thought it was okay at the time. Yeah. You get me? He thought it was okay. Mm. Cause obviously he had an argument. Rah, 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 rah. So there was a prior argument. Prior arguments yeah. and that, you get me? Duh, 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 duh. And then obviously he's all linked certain people, mm. you get me? So he's thinking, it must be calm. I'm thinking it must be calm, you yeah. get me? I know when it showed me nothing. So cool, he's on his way. He told me he's got a show. He's on his way. Cool. He's put in a group chat, yeah, I'm coming down to the ends. Mm. Duh, duh, duh. So everyone already knows, you get me? Duh. So now, let's get back to where I was. As I'm coming back from getting my, getting my drink, yeah. I'm walking to the car, I'm hearing bear, like, bear, palaver, like, screaming mm. and that. I'm saying, what the fuck? I'm walking over. I see my man's face just blooded up. He's crying and that. I'm saying, what the fuck? I've grabbed the person that's in front of him, innit? Like, wow, what the fuck's going on? Mm. He's all, you get me? My man's had time to go jump over to the pa- to over, jump over from the passenger to the driver's seat. Mm. I've gone over to the other side. I'm saying, yo, let me chat to you. Let me chat to you to the mm. other person on the other side. Do you yeah. get me? But these times, I look behind me and I just see like his older brother and that just watching. I'm thinking, what? Am I supposed to be Superman here? Like, mm. what? Ain't no one that, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, his own blood, older brother, just watching that. Like, it's a mad world we live in, fam. So, I mean, look, let's I'm get trying, to the nitty gritty, bro. I'm just, one man, just, fam. Wait, just to make it clear, though, mm. you was never aware this was going to happen to him. He knows how we're aware. Yeah. He's delusional, bro. Mm. He's fucked up in the head, man. I mean, so after, after, it, after it's happened, mm. what's happened next in terms of you guys' friendship? So, cool. After that's happened, cool. Nah, it's not even done. Cool. After all of this has happened, you're okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. After this has happened, man's saying, yeah. Like, man's jumped back in the car with them, innit? Mm. So it's us, all of us in the car, me, Rush, whoever was there, and his older brother, Bunny. Mm. You get me, man's saying, Fam, so what's the man on now? I said, yo, man's onto these youths. Man's going Alpenton quickly. And then, nah, say no more. Man's going, get me, I'm going to my yard, I live in West. Mm. Cool, jumped out. That was that, cool. As I got home, man's just thinking, brother, see when all this argument was going on? I'm saying, brother, calm down. I'm saying it to both, both sides, like, mm. brother, you man stop. Everyone else in the group is saying, mm. you man stop, innit? So this, this, this is the these man are, for these the man group dissing, chat. These men are just dissing each other's dead people and that. Man's mm. saying, bro, what the fuck's going on, like? Mm. But, uh, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm saying, rah, cuz, cool. So after the situations happen, man's saying, no one chat to me, innit? Kind of thing. Like, I'm saying, yo, I don't fuck with no snake shit. Mm. You get me? Like, this is all, like, everything, in, you snake, this party snake. You get me what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm saying, yo, but uh, I'm not fucking with no one, innit? Mm. Like, bruh, I'm not picking your side, I'm not picking your side, I'm making my own side. Mm. You get me? I'm me, innit? Like, Bro, I don't even live in the ends at this time. I've, yeah. all, I've all moved up to fucking Luton yeah. at these times. So it's like, bro, I don't care. Like, fuck you, like, fuck everyone, innit? Mm. Like, what's going on? Like, it don't make sense like, in man's head at this time. So I'm saying, yeah, whatever's whatever, innit? Like, I ain't got no one in this situation. Mm. Simple, innit? Like, you don't all bring this on yourself. So cool. Man's still chatting with him. He's calm. Okay. So I'm saying, cool, innit? Fuck it. All like, to like, two months later, we was all playing PlayStation with each other, chatting, mm. FaceTimes and that, calm, inviting me to shows and that. Might not issue. And then randomly one day he just said, yo, no, fuck that, I don't fuck with you. Well, he messaged you? Yeah, he messaged me, he said, yo, nah, you know what, fuck that, I don't fuck with you. I was like, say nothing, G. Because at this time, bro, man's numb, I don't really care about nothing. Mm. Man don't want to fuck with me, I don't fuck with me, bro, I don't mm. care, I'm here, bro. But is it a thing that also, you probably won't admit this on camera, mm. but it's a thing that also where... Who won't admit it? Me? I'm, no, I'm about to ask you a question. It's like, 
you feel bad because that's that was kind of I would say your brother, but that's like someone you know from primary school. That's kind of you. You that guy that lived that is the thing that where. Or is it, you put it this way, and you can you can be honest, or you might not be honest. Do you miss him, bro? You this man's mummy asking if I miss him. Oh, well, your mum. Okay, okay, I do that. Okay, I bro, you, you know, you know what's been said since all of this has happened, bro. It's been like two years. You know, man's talking about it now. Okay. Do you know what's happened in the last two years and that? So things have deteriorated. Bro, come on, man. So, going forward... But I ain't got a problem with him. He's mm, calm still. Mm, but easy. That, 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 that's the point I'm going to make. So, like, is it a thing that way? You know what? Uh, you live your life. I live my life. Yeah, just stay out of our way. Yeah. So, in regard to... Let's go back. Like I said, really want to sort of dwell on that too much. In regard to yourself, sort of, music-wise now, now that you're seeing, I guess, what's going on in terms of number ones and this person and that person, and is that now fueling you and I say, you know, actually... I'll be taking this for a job. It'll be consistent. Let me actually start being consistent now and really try to take over the game. That didn't even charge me still. Yeah. You know, it is. Now I've got management in it, so okay. I'm actually being consistent. I'm being led in the right ways. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like... But if I didn't have management, bro, I'd, I wouldn't be doing this. Mm. Now, I would be doing it, don't get twisted, but I'd be doing it as a hobby the same yeah. way. Like, I wouldn't be releasing every two weeks, every month and that. Yeah. I'd so, probably release, like, three tunes and then come back again, like, in, like... A good seven months, mm. but you know what it is. I try to be consistent, and then I won't drop a song for like a month. Mm. I'll be like, "Don't worry, I'm gonna drop next month." Six months have gone by now. Yeah. I'm like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" I still ain't dropped a song. Mm. All twelve months has gone by, I ain't dropped no song. Mm. It's weird, bro. Man's fighting crazy cases. Man's fighting a murder. Man's fighting attempted murder. Like, what, right now? Nah, Probably right now it's been released under investigation, so it's yeah. like steady, but. Mm. This is what I was fighting over the last 12 months, where I even tried to release a tune and they took it down for gang signs. Okay. Car. What is that? I just thought, fuck that, man. Are you allowed to swear on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Time, man. So, so the whole yeah. time I could have been saying anything. You could be saying anything. I see you, but I thought, you know, you're just being polite, so why not? I'm no, man, like, I thought this was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like... You just say BBC. All right, say yeah, nothing. It's, it's the Mandem, man, it's the Mandem. Mm. So, like, what, what, what made you decide, okay, I need a manager this time compared to before? Because um, you did it before without a manager. Was it, did someone approach you, someone to be a manager, or just people around you? you know, nah, I, I realised in man's head, like, yo, man needs management, like. Mm. Man can't just keep just floating by. Mm. There's not one artist I see without a manager. Why, am I, why do I not have a manager and mm. I'm an artist? Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So... Is that a fruit fly? Fucking bad to you, bro. <laughs> So going forward then, like what can we expect? We're at the end of 2021 now, so 2022 mm-hmm. is a fresh start. What's happening in 2022? 2022? Mm. I got a little mixtape dropping. Hear more in detail about certain things that are going on. Mm. You get me? So you got anything, any, any tunes dropping in the next couple of weeks that we should be looking out for? Any videos? Next couple of weeks? Yeah. Um, Got a couple still, but I don't want to say nothing too tough. Okay. Car, everything will happen in due time. Mm. What about anything? I got the sideways remix dropping. Obviously, okay. one song from my a solo from my EP mm. that just dropped. That was like a little throwaway. All these like all the throwaway tunes I made over the last mm. twelve months while I was doing that thing. You get me? So how Dashed would you, it out and how would you right now? Direction. So how would you now then I guess judge your success now in terms of if you release a track now? Obviously, you said two million, but we have to gradually get there. So what would you sort of say, you know what, actually I released that tune, I'm happy with it, it's got the, the numbers I wanted. How would you sort of judge that? I don't know, bro. I'm not really good with that. Mm. That questionnaire is not really a, really my one still. Mm. I don't really get good with that question, I don't know. Uh, what about collaborators? Let's say that. Give me four k in a day. I'm sweet, man. Mm. I'm sweet still. What about collab wise? Anyone that we're, you, you, we're looking to collaborate in the next sort of? I can show you still. I don't really wanna. Oh, it's online, okay, cool. Yeah, I got a little collab with Boy Boy from Trinidad. Okay, okay. But I'll show you the list mm. in a sec still. So I mean, for anyone who I guess don't know Taze, it's the first time them hearing you, and probably mm. wouldn't know it's from what's been to the internet. 
how would you kind of describe yourself in three words? Like to describe it, Tays, this is me. So what's the three words for people who don't quite understand you? You lot calm down is four words but it's like bro everyone's just too hyper on the internet mm. it's just crazy any, any, any last words for the people out there <laughs> man ain't no snake yeah fam the man i'm trying to defamate my character what's that defame defame your character man defaming my character but me I said, fuck it, innit? It's the internet, innit? What's that gonna do? Yeah. But really, they're, they're all doubling back all two years later telling me I'm still, I'm still snaking man, man. That's kind of mm. crazy, man. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, man. But I guess this comes back from the interview that he done as well, so that's why people... Bro, before that... Okay, they should, they should be on they're on, <laughs> Relentlessly, fam. <laughs> relentlessly, they're gonna tell me that. Yeah. But it's like, I just thought, anything that's not affecting man's real life, mm. why am I addressing it? Yeah. Like, there's all man that's told me that. There's all man on the internet saying, that they've shot me in that. Mm. But I've been shot and it weren't like that. Mm. It weren't like I got like pulled up on you and got shot. Mm. There's a different whole situation. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mm. Can't really say it on there. Cool. Uh, you, you mentioned there you'd been shot. I mean, what's the story behind that? Ah, uh, cool. Basically, 